connect to traditional tales. Stone Soup, a tale from Eastern Europe. Long ago, the people in one village had very little food. They didn't have enough food to share with their neighbors. One day, a traveler appeared in the village square. The traveler asked each villager, Please, may I have some food? I have not eaten for many days. But the villagers said they had no food to share. Finally, the traveler said, In that case, I will teach you how to make soup from a stone. He took a small stone from his pocket. Soup from a stone? Impossible, said the villagers. But they were very curious. First, we will heat a large pot of water over the fire, said the traveler. He dropped his stone into the pot. The water boiled and bubbled. The traveler tasted the soup. Mmm, delicious, he said. A pinch of salt and some parsley would make it taste even better, though. I think I can find a little salt and some parsley, said a woman. She hurried off came right back and put the salt and the parsley into the pot. The soup boiled and bubbled. The traveler tasted the soup again. Mmm, delicious, he said. A cabbage and some potatoes would make it taste even better, though. I think I can find a cabbage and some potatoes, said a man. He hurried off, came right back, and put the cabbage and the potatoes into the pot. The soup boiled and bubbled. The traveler tasted the soup again. Mmm, delicious, he said. A few carrots and some chicken would make it taste even better, though. I think I can find a few carrots and some chicken, said a woman. She hurried off, came right back, and put the carrots and the chicken into the pot. The soup boiled and bubbled. One by one, the other villagers added things to the pot of stone soup. Others brought bread and good things to drink. All the people gathered in the village square and shared a delicious feast. Soon, it was time for the traveler to leave. What a wonderful soup we made from one small stone, he said. Each one shared just a little, but together we made a feast for us all.